What happens to people who are not Christian in this country, who are atheists, who are Jewish, who are Islamic? If America is religious freedom and there is a, an, an, a sort of a mandate for Christianity in America, what happens to that? Uh, repeat the question, I'm sorry. The, the, well, what, what, do, what do we say to our Jewish brothers and sisters if we're saying we have a Christian nation? Well, I, I wouldn't necessarily even call it uh, pushing Christianity or like I don't even go there. I'm like. A lot of conservatives want to get back to Christian ideals. They want to make America a Christian country. And when you ask them what that means, a lot of them will give you an answer similar to this guy's. I am what I am. So knowing that gives me my spirituality. So that's a worldwide thing. That's not Islamic. That's not Hebrew or Jewish or German or any other. It's, it's humankind. In my book, that's kind of how things sort of seem to work, you know, if you're paying attention. When asked, what would we say to people who aren't Christian if we mandated in America that you had to be Christian? That was his answer. His answer was, I am what I am, and that's a worldwide thing. I believe in what I believe in, which sounds an awful lot like religious freedom. So it begs the question, what do they think is missing if they're describing something that we already have. And it's because I've realized they think they don't have religious freedom. They think that they are persecuted for being Christian and that by making this country a Christian country, they will no longer be persecuted. Now, that's what some of them think. That's what some of them have been taught to believe. I believe it always has been a Christian nation. I, be I believe that there is a uh, covenant with uh, with God and he will not let this country go and it will come uh, back to what it was supposed to be out of the slave state explain that a little bit but what the slave no yeah no what you mean by what it will become what it was supposed to be and your from your perspective what does that mean my perspective is that it uh, under godly um, uh, in, instruction and uh, biblical principles uh, as uh, I believe God uh, uh, created government even in the Bible and there's like uh, different ways to do things. The goal is to spread the truth as we know it, uh, share Jesus, which is uh, the ultimate truth. How do, we ex how do we explain then the slave state part of it? I believe we became a slave state in 1870 when our birth certificates started to get sold to the uh, companies. And uh, and so there's like uh, three different kinds of laws out there. And I'm, I don't understand it completely. I'm still so were we Christian while we had slavery here? Well, being Christian is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. No, I meant as a nation, because we were talking about as being a, a nation? Christian nation. That's what you had said before. Well, well yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were, but, but uh, many of us were deceived, and many of us were not accountable. When asked a very similar question, that was this man's answer. They All they know is, America is not a Christian country, and it needs to be made a Christian country again. That's the best way they can describe what it means. And probably because they keep hearing stuff like this from their politicians. The reason we had so many overreaching regulations in our nation is because the church complied. The church is supposed to direct the government. The government is not supposed to direct the church. That is not how our founding fathers intended it. And I'm tired of this separation of church and state junk that's not in the Constitution. It was in a stinking letter, and it means nothing like what they say it does. Through rhetoric like this, right-wing politicians have convinced average Christian Americans that their religion is being persecuted by the American government. We need to go back to what the Founding Fathers wanted. Never mind, that's not what the Founding Fathers wanted. They've learned the phrasing, America needs to become a Christian nation again. But when you ask them to explain what a Christian nation looks like, they don't know. It's fine to practice Christianity. No one's telling you you can't. No one's telling you it's wrong. We just don't want the country to be ruled by Christian principles 
because we have religious liberty. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some of my content that isn't news related, you can always check out my personal YouTube page at Bad Gamer Wyatt. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.